Hi guys, so I have come to the conclusion that I might just be sick because this whole week I've like had my hair out and it has gotten super cold and because I'm wearing my hair out, like in the mornings I have to spray it up with like my leave-in conditioner and stuff to put it up so it stays up nicely and... Maybe when I'm going outside, it's not fully dry, like it's partially wet or it's still a little bit cold and having it be cold and then I'm outside, that just does not help at all. So I have just decided that tomorrow I'm going to wake up, wash my hair in the morning and um, and braid it back so that I can put the wigs on because I cannot, I cannot do this to myself again. I really cannot. So maybe I'm going to wash that wig from tonight i can't remember if i had even mentioned that i had washed it i had um used alcohol and i managed to get all of the glue off of the lace which i think is so good you know that i got it off but this part this side part i don't know i need to figure something out for it because i feel like it's really bugging me I mean, if I don't have it stitched onto my face, then I really should be fine. Because I've worn it, not stitched onto me. What am I saying stitched on? Like, completely glued onto me, and I was fine just using the freezing spray. So maybe I should just continue doing that. So I'm going to wash it tonight, and, you know, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, braid my hair down, and we are going to see how that goes. Also, in the winter time. The back of these wigs just be looking crazy because it's rubbing on um like your coats and stuff like that so it's just not it at all so most times it's better to have like a short wig that the back is short or to just not have it rubbing or to just put it up so it's not rubbing on like your coat or anything any at all because that just does not help the wigs to be honest so I'm going to wash it and um, detangle it and stuff. And then I'm going to see what is up tomorrow. But at this point, I really do have a few wigs that I could pick, choose, and refuse, honestly. So if I don't feel like wearing this one tomorrow, um, on Tuesday, I'll just wear a different one. But I'm at least going to wash it because I like... Just the same way how I wash my hair often is exactly how I wash these wigs often as if I'm, it's really my hair. Because I feel like you have to take care of the wigs too, especially if they're human hair, and just call it a day. Also, I knew that I always did not like closures, and me kind of having an allergic reaction to this closure kind of solidified that. Because to be honest, when it's like a frontal or so, I don't have anything squeezing on anywhere like how the sides hair the closure and the cap meets i don't have that problem with like a frontal so nothing is squeezing on me to like break me out or whatever so that's super annoying so that in itself too makes me feel like i want to just get wigs that are just frontals and just call it a day because i had bought that one and the 28 26 inch one and that one is a frontal, and I managed to make it into like a glueless, so glueless, sorry, where it just sits there, and you know it's no problem. This is just annoying. Obviously, for like an everyday wear, of course, it's pretty easy. You can make it work. So if you don't have anything else, then there's nothing to complain about. But what I feel like I'm gonna do is eventually just change them out and have all frontals, and then these ones, I'll just give them away because they're still really nice wigs and they're nicely constructed. I just they just might not work for me anymore. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish doing some work on my computer and then I'm gonna wash this, shower, and go curl up in bed and rub myself up to see if I can feel a little bit better. Especially because I just took some Robitussin, so I don't know. I wanna just chill in bed and just, I don't know, because I feel like crap, bro. Hi guys, so I'm all aware that I look absolutely crazy right now, but that's, that is nothing new. So, <clears throat> I washed my hair last night. Because I felt like I either wouldn't wake up early this morning or I just wouldn't be in the mood this morning. So I showered and washed it last night and braided it back, right? 
So I tried the wig on and the wig was lit and everything. And then I, all right, I want a braid going across here just so that I could stick the combs of my wig into the thing. And so I did this braid. So I took it out from this and turned it into this. And it looks okay, but I'm just like, damn, I just look crazy. So I'm actually going to sit and braid my hair back the way how you braid it back to put the wigs on. But have I been feeling better? <clears throat> Not even. I just feel like I'm going to have to go through this and then just be done with it. But just when it feels like it needs to be done. And um, I'm not going outside today at all. You know, I'm trying to stay inside to see how, how well we can work on this. Once I come out of one room and like go into another, I sneeze. And maybe it's because I'm just sick, but inside here is just so cold. It's 11.42 right now and I'm just having some coffee and I just had some stew chicken that I made and that was bussin'. Um, yesterday morning I made the stew chicken while I was getting ready and stuff. And so last night when I came home, it would be here and everything. So I ate a little bit last night and then I ate a little bit more just now and I feel okay. <clears throat> but for the most part, I've been laying in bed from like 8 a.m. and didn't really have an appetite or anything from like 7 a.m. And I didn't have an appetite and I've just, I was just laying there. But sometimes I feel like you really need to get up and, and, and you know, just start moving around. Also, these Ricola um things have really been so helpful because this one instead of it this one is the Ricola dual action cough suppressant and oral anesthetic the flavor is honey and lime and I was gonna buy a bigger pack and I'm just like I'm gonna knock the sickness out so I don't need a bigger pack so I end up buying the pack the smaller pack and I'm almost done with them they have really been helping, but I go through them so quickly. So, um, I've really just been eating them. <clears throat> Inside of it, there is honey. So, like, once you suck it down, it in the middle, there's honey inside of there. And it's really, like, soothing on my throat. So, I've just been taking these. And they taste good. So, that's what I've been doing so far. I'm going to actually take some of this Robitussin day you guys i'm telling you you know i don't like to be sick and i feel like okay maybe nobody likes to be sick but oh my gosh i can't express enough how much i really hate being sick i feel like i'm i'm, I'm not productive when i'm sick and i really like being productive yeah so it's like I have to force myself to try and be productive when I'm not feeling too good. And that's not really it. I have to cook. Literally have to meal prep. I mean, I could just meal prep for two days. I'll say three. Um, today is um, Monday. So I'll meal prep for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I'll cook again Thursday. Even though I feel like if I knock out most of the meal prepping right now, then on Thursday I could really just chill. And maybe my body needs that. No. Anyways, I'm just here. I'm going to braid my hair back. So next time you guys see me, I should have my hair braided back nicely. Nice and small. And, um, yeah, I just ate some food. So I have a little bit more energy. So we should, we're doing good.
So guys, my hair is done. I had started braiding this side and I did it this way and I didn't really like it. So I decided to take it down and do just some straight backs because that one was not cute. This is what I've been using in my hair for about a month now and I absolutely love it. And I feel like it has been making my hair grow like crazy. I might be bugging but I really do not think that I am. So when I braid my hair down, and it's super easy when I'm wearing the wigs too because... When I'm wearing the wigs, I actually get to completely oil my scalp as opposed to when my hair is up. So the wigs kind of help out with that. And so um, I decided that now that the thing on my forehead is like gone, I gave my hair like a week or a week and a half for it to like go away. And then now I'm going back to the wigs because I feel like I'm also sick because my hair is out. But I have some pictures that I had... um. Put together of probably not appropriate to show because I'm like in the shower from September September was when I really started taking pictures of my hair instead of the shower when I have it like wet and laying down and in September it was like hair <clears throat> and no it's like all the way down to hair as you guys can see and how is that for growth in September, it was like hair, as I'm looking at the picture. That is so crazy that it's actually growing, and it's growing because of this thing. I used to sleep on this, but trust me, this virgin hair fertilizer really works. So wherever you are, you need to get it. I have three tubes of it just casually laying around. So I'm done with my hair, and I've, it's right now it's... 1257. I'm just braiding everything together in the back. It's 1257 right now and I feel like I'm going to try and see if I can make something because um, I think at this point it's very evident that I'm not doing my best. So like I just don't be having the energy <clears throat> which is exactly why I'm sitting right here braiding my hair down too because I was already sitting here and I don't want to be moving around. I'm just not in the mood honestly. So I'm going to make some chicken and something i really don't know what i'm not in the mood to do that either but i'm also not in the mood to go spend money every day to buy food so gonna meal prep anyways i think this is also where i'm gonna end this vlog because it might be long um thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video and hopefully in the next video i'm feeling a lot better mm -hmm.